Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Pen Rambling. So in today's episode I'm going to talk about specific brand and the collection that I have with that brand and what would you expect from their basic up to the highest that I have in their collection. So this is just my opinion and my collection. Of course, I can collect all the pens they have in a brand. So usually what we do is we collect the one that we can afford and we will use. I know there are people who collect pens for aesthetic reason, but I use pen to write as it should be. So in front of you, I'm talking about a brand that is very familiar to most of this uh, the Asian part and some part of the America if you're watching from America so in front of you I have platinum platinum is a brand that um, maybe appeal to many of those who are beginner and because of one particular pen now, if you have just started you are browsing to the internet uh, or you go to some stationery stores that sells fountain pen you may have come across this pen which is known as platinum preppy okay so platinum preppy is the most basic line on the platinum brand and this is the one that most people will start out when they are starting fountain pen if they are looking for platinum Okay, because other pen also have uh, their basic model and this one is the basic model for platinum platinum preppy now why does this pen stand out when people are starting their fountain pen journey so number one it is kind of affordable so in Malaysia this particular preppy will cost more or less around 20 ringgit including one cartridge so for a fountain pen that costs around 20 ringgit is a full-size pen okay and you still can find a cartridge for it it is a consider a steel plus it has a very special nib okay a very special nib so there are a version of nib that is like this one which is black in color or this one which is just a standard stainless steel okay so number two if you can see the seal of the cap okay platinum is known for not drawing out ink because of this uh, inner cap seal Okay. especially for those I think this one is also included they put it in all the pen okay all the pen now this one is a demonstrator so you can actually see the inner capping of this pen so this inner capping according to platinum it um, it keeps the nib wet for up to two years I actually seen a youtuber before who had done this experiment if I do find that video I'll link that video in the description box below okay it's a very interesting experiment okay the third thing that appeal to some people who are starting out a uh, fountain pen is that you can convert this pen as an eyedropper but in order to do that you need two additional thing one is silicon grease another one is a uh, o-ring okay or a rubber ring that goes around this part so that when you screw it back or before you screw it back make sure you do, uh, you put on the silicon grease so that when you seal it back the ink doesn't run through the thread and in the end uh, leaks happen Okay, so some people 
like college people okay they like to put a lot of ink so that they have enough ink capacity for them at least throughout uh one day one week so they don't ha they don't have to fill it in all the time okay so this one although it is a plastic clip okay it is still usable now i have seen pictures where everything is usable but the clip is already snapped off okay there are people who really use that clip until it is snap flop snapped off because it is just a plastic one so this is a pen that of the basic light in platinum and some of us may have started off with this pen the nib section you can remove hang on okay you can remove this nib section but it's not so useful uh, if you want to remove it yes you can and you change you just wash it under the tap water or you um, or you uh, what is the word okay you soak it in okay to let the ink remove and then you wash it with a brush or something as well as this one so some of us because it is really cheap and we have a few colors there's one pen for each color so those are the those are some what people do now this is the basic line going up from there okay going up from there i have this one which is a uh, profonte you can see that okay profonte now profonte is a little bit cheaper than Placer. i'm sure i'm butchering that name okay and i'll put a picture of Placer somewhere here okay somewhere here so that you have an idea of what Placer looks like now Placer is different from profonte by the material of the body okay so this is an upgrade from preppy number one if you can see the main difference is the clip section this one is a plastic this one is a metal which makes it uh, look more um, adult like okay some people they want to carry fountain pen that is not looking like childish okay and it is still not too expensive so profonte metal as well as it is a colored version the one that i have is the colored version i think profonte doesn't come in demonstrator i think so if i mean correct i'll put a link or a something correction down here okay the nib is exactly the same the feed is exactly the same and even okay even the barrel is the same everything is the same except the looks of it preppy may looks more uh student student like whereas profonte may look more adult like or um, early teenage so late teenager early adult like pen okay both of them have the same nib option you have from 0 0.2 which is the extra fine 0 0.3 0 0.5 so three nib options and then going up from there the one that i don't have in my collection is procyon um i'll pull a picture here and then the the name of that pen that one i don't have which is a little bit more expensive it still has the same nib design okay it still have this same nib design 
and I think it is made out of aluminum. Hang on, let me check. Okay, it has all those. Yeah, it made it is made out of aluminum with a special coating, and it will have this metal snap cap. It will also have. I'll show you the picture. Um, the same nib as all the preppy stainless steel model and it will have the same cartridge now a very good thing about platinum is that platinum uses only one option of converter and cartridge means that they will have the exact same converter that you can use all throughout platinum fountain pen okay which i'll show you in a bit when i open this one so now this one we are coming up from steel nib to gold nib okay steel nib to gold nib so platinum is known for their entry level um 3776 now their 3776 is very many range i mean they have a lot of different um model i won't call them model maybe you can call that model and i have three of them the what i'm showing in front of you is the one that is in blue color which is called shortest blue which i know i'm butchering that name and then this one is in silver trim now silver trim is harder to find compared to the gold trim which i'll show you in a, in a bit okay so this one is uh don't know how to pronounce the name white <laughs> i'll put the name here <laughs> because it's quite difficult for me to pronounce that name now this one will be in the gold trim gold trim is more commonly found in most places in those shop that sells stationary uh sorry, fountain pen the one that is harder to find is this one i got lucky with this one because the seller that i bought the color that i bought is blue but they were out of stock for the nib option that i chose and the seller got back to me asking me whether i want to change nib options or do I want to maintain this color? So I said I want to maintain this color. Uh, sorry, any color will do fine as long as it is medium. And I got lucky that if uh, that seller, I'm not so sh sure she is she or he, okay, that seller um, replaced my order from that gold trim to this silver trim. And I'm very thankful that I got this silver trim in my collection. Now this silver trim comes with a silver nib. Um, no, no, no. It is a gold nib, 14K gold nib, but it is not in gold color. So that's what I meant. Now this, ink, this pen is currently inked up and you will start to see that I have a lot of ink on my hand in a bit more. Okay, so as you can see, gold trims comes with gold colored nib. It is a 14K carat gold nib. And the one that is in silver trim, it will be in silver colored nib. Now this nib has a very special design, which is the breather hole is actually an upside down heart shape. Okay, as you can see there, if I can bring it closer and if So it is an upside down heart shape. Preppy is very very known for their weird design nib. As you can see from their steel options, okay, their steel nib, there has no breather hole, but it still writes good. 
Okay, it's still right fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. If you have any of this pen, you will know that it writes good. Now, because this is a Japanese pen, the medium that I had, okay, the medium that I had is actually on the finer side. On the finer side and the nib size is actually quite big compared to all the other entry level um, gold nib offered by the three top Japanese brand which is other than Platinum, Pilot and Sailor. I'll show you that in a bit. So this is the steel nib. Okay, the size of the steel nib. Hang on. And then you can compare that to the size of their gold nib so that's why it is a favorite amongst entry level um, sorry those who are entering gold nib uh, entry level plus it is quite affordable some country they offer it as um, a very affordable almost as expensive sorry almost as the price of some uh, higher end steel nib of other brand from the European side of the country. Okay, uh, as I said, no, because this is empty, I'll seal this back on. It has this cap inside. Uh, can you see? Uh, can you see that one? Can you see the white lining cap inside? That is also the cap that is known as the slip and sealed by platinum. They have it in all the this one. And when you come to the gold nib, okay, so when you come to the gold nib, it is the screw type instead of capping. And if you have not se seen my capping option that I talk about, yeah, I'll link it above somewhere all right so as i mentioned the cartridge or the converter can be can work all throughout the platinum line so i already washed this one as it, uh, let me demonstrate if it focus so see it works and the cartridge will works the same as well so you don't have to like to know so which cartridge or which converter for which model of their pen it works so they only have one cartridge one type of cartridge and one type of uh, converter that's it so they make it simple so that people the user will not feel burdened by um, options of the converter or the options of the uh, cartridge so these are my sharing for this brand which is platinum i love platinum as you can see previously in my other video that i have four of them two of them is in this video and if you go online to survey, you will find that Platinum 3776 Century okay, have a lot of other uh, design as well. They release one design every year, if I'm not mistaken. Just like what Sailor do. So Sailor also release limited edition um, fountain pen each year. So Platinum is doing the same. Now, if you know that 3776 is actually the height of Mount, what is that mountain? <sighs> it's a mountain in, 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 in Japan already. Fuji Mountain, yeah. Alright, so Fuji Mount, Mount Fuji. So, if you have any other sharing that you have found, 
while you are using this pen, you can always comment in the comment section down below. So I ramble quite a lot. I'll see you again in my other videos. Right? Take care and bye bye.